I like race cars. I actually drive them on race tracks. It was kind of my passion for driving, but also the guilt that I felt about it that led me towards looking for alternative fuels as kind of like a, a area of research. I came here, one of my professors said, hey, you have to go up to this conference. It's on climate change. I think it'd just it'd be fun if you have an extra weekend. It was the Northeast Climate Conference at Yale University. Three of my friends and I just drove up there, a little road trip, you know, to have fun. Four of us went to all the workshops and we heard people speak and we got really interested in it. So we started and we found the Earth Club and we just, we got hooked up with them and said, hey, let's put on these events, let's try and raise awareness on campus. And it was really, it's been really awesome ever since. We've done a lot with the Earth Club and starting the Clean Energy Coalition. And uh, they just work on trying to, integrate all the different groups on campus, like maybe the snowboarding club wants to, you know, keep, make sure there's snow on the mountains for years to come. So maybe they'd like to, you know, have a, a panel about what we can do to keep mountains the way they are now. And we just try and, and incorporate everyone we can and make sure everyone knows about sustainability and environmental problems. The Institute for the Stewardship of the Natural World is a, a brand new institute. I think it started last year. And I've been fortunate enough to be kind of a small part of that. And they're looking at just ways to make the university greener and use sustainable practices on campus and kind of uh, see, do as much as we can on campus to kind of lead by example. And um, I was part of the Campus Accessibility Committee. So we're looking at alternative ways of transportation on campus and see how we can move students from where they live to campus and uh, in a sustainable way, maybe not having everyone drive their own car, go park out way far away and then walk for 20 minutes. You know, maybe it'd be better if they could take a bus or carpool or uh, eventually, you know, we'd like to see a bike share program where you can go and rent a bike like you rent a library book. So uh, we're, we're definitely excited and um, it's been really fun. I've gotten to talk to a lot of the kind of staff members of JMU and people who are in charge of facilities management, in charge of parking services, and all different aspects of the university. And we all get together and we talk about, you know, the, the big pie in the sky ideas that we all have and how we can make them happen. I started my research when I was a sophomore. And back then, I, like I said, I was interested in alternative fuels. And some of my professors at ISAT were doing work with algae. So I said, hey, you know, the first day I walked in the lab and some students were looking at algae cells under a microscope and I didn't even know how to use a microscope very well and just, you know, looked in it and see this green blob and I thought, well, this is, could be interesting. And so I just kept coming back every week. It was just for fun on a Friday, you know, in the afternoon, come to the lab, see what people are doing. And then I got offered a job over the summer doing research. So I stayed here all summer with five of my friends and we figured out ways that we could grow algae and our goal was to actually separate the algae out and get the oil out of the algae and then turn it into biodiesel. It makes me proud to think that JMU has this institute and we have such a positive you know, stance on sustainability and being a leader and setting by example.